Oh, here comes monsters. Ah, that's a lot of monsters. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Dino Stuck Simulator. <laughs> this game, man. Oh, I tell you what. Shit gets stuck all the time in this game. I have, um, uh, including me, and I'm not implying that I'm shit, but anyway, <laughs> that, uh, that dino down there, um, Allison, she's been stuck for days and days and days, I, and I can't even mount up on her in like ghost mode to ghost her out she's just embedded there permanently um and that's just one of dozens of situations in this game where everything gets stuck and it's so frustrating but we're also having a good time playing too all right well guys it's uh it's been a long time for me uh since i've recorded an episode because i got i got quite a ways ahead of you guys and then um i believe i told you in the last episode that i was gonna hold off until we were ready to do some caving um and so that's more or less where we are but i just uh i have so many things to, to get you caught up on uh so I, I showed you um some of the more important highlights of what has happened off camera at the beginning of this video and after i edited that and got it all put together i was going to take my newly uh, 100% imprinted baryonyx down to the river to get a little bit of fish because I needed some fish and this happened.
So the bad news is that we lost the Baryonyx. The good news is that we gained a level 145 male Therizino. Um, so let's uh, let's start with that first. Um, this is the Therizino right here. And if we look at that with the uh, binoculars over on the right, and I'll explain what, what that's about. Um, you can see the stats on this. So they're not bad. Uh, 46 on stamina. Um, 39 on melee. So, you know, anything that's around 40 is uh, is really good. The health is a little bit on the low side, but um, Tickles has 45 health. Um, so he's got really good, good health. So basically the idea is we're going to get um, Wildfather 145's really good melee and stamina breeded onto Tickles' health. And Clarita... Clarita's got... Pretty decent health, but not as high as Tickles, um, you know. Uh, and eventually, those we'll get all those stats bred onto our uh, what will then become our base dinos. Um, okay, let's see what else I have. The hell's going on? Um, I got a couple wolves here, and um, so yeah, that's a thirty-five melee. This is a. 30 melee so they're okay they're not they're not the, the best but they're a start and the purpose of the wolves primarily are uh, for caving animals and then the same thing with the saber so i've got a uh we tamed a 150 uh, female mother wild but i've finished with her now she's kind of just a, a spare dino at the moment um her stats were 47 health uh, which is really 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 good and then um, melee was 30, so not super good. Stamina is 41, which is also very good. Um, and so these are, well, okay, he's her offspring. This one here, though, was um, another female that I pulled out of the wild. I don't remember what the original level was. But look at the, um... oh, no, you know what? I'm mixing this up with a different one. Th this one has the highest melee so far of everything, so I'm trying to get the melee bred onto the babies with, with them. I uh, found this gorgeous uh, female Argentavis in the wild, and her stats are, are in the upper 30s uh, for the most part, so not bad, really. Uh, 38 weight. Weight's important on Argentavises, because I, well, for me anyways, because I use them for utility, but I think everybody else does. So I bred her with Cobalt, uh, which was that RG that kind of flew into camp a while back and just gave himself to us. Uh, real pretty colors. And the resulting colors for two twins uh, were, were were this. So Father 1 is a breeder, and his stats are 37, 38, 38, 37. So really pretty good overall. High 30s aren't bad to start with. Um, and his twin is now my uh, workhorse, Archie, the, the one that I'm using, uh, which I have named Mojave uh, because I don't know why Mojave keeps trying to fly somewhere. What are you doing? Let's get rid Are you? Oh, you're on neutral. I thought. Oh, it's so hard to remember to switch these guys back. So. Yeah, I, I, I named this one Mojave because I really like the colors. Um, it's kind of a turquoise color with kind of a, um, I don't know, a sandstone brown desertish type of look. So that's why I came up with Mojave. Just really, really cool bird here. And um, this is the twin of, of the breeder because, uh, you know, I didn't need two. I, I should probably, I, I mean, I could hang on to this one as a backup, but um, this is a fully imprinted uh, two, by the way. Uh, uh, Raptor 2, whereas October Sky, which I've been using all along, is a wild. Uh, you know, I didn't get an imprint, so that's the main reason why I'm using this one now, too. I still have October Sky. She's, or he, rather, is over in the uh, barn. Okay, but here is, in terms of breeding, here's the really good prize. So I showed you at, towards the end of the video there, um, taming this baryonyx look at the stats on this thing it's just crazy these are the wild stats uh well after i tamed it's 51 stamina and 51 melee if you get anything in the 50s it's absolutely 
extraordinarily spectacular. It's a very rare thing. It's obviously possible, but it doesn't happen very often. So these are the wild stats. We're starting off with really high stamina, really high melee right from the get-go. And the health and, and weight, not that I care about the weight so much, uh, the health is 37, which doesn't suck either. Um, so he is our, our main breeding father right now. And then we are going to retire uh, Barista, or Barista rather, uh, from the breeding because we now have two mothers that are coming up uh, that have those 51 stats, uh, uh, 51 points in stats. So these two mothers, which were twins, will take the place of Barista in the breeding line. And then this is Barry Berkman version two. So Barry Berkman also has that 51 point melee stat and stamina stat. Um, the health stat's a little bit lower on this one. He inherited from the mom, but that's okay. We can we can work with that. So this will be our new um, caving dino to replace the original Barry Berkman that you guys never even got to meet because that stupid Alpha Carno or whatever the hell it was that killed it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I think that mostly gets you caught up on the breeding. I uh, A word about the thylus, uh, thylacaleus. You, you probably noticed in the montage there that I was in a cave. I found a blue drop and out of that blue drop, among other things, I pulled this fantastic ascendant pike. Here's the deal. Um, I jumped on Bobcat here, which is a, a fully imprinted thylacaleo. And side note, I absolutely love these creatures. They are so fun to ta just take out and jump around and climb up cliffs and kill everything. Really, really fun creatures. But I discovered to my dismay and a supreme irritation with Wildcard that you cannot get these in any frickin' cave except for the Northeast Cave. That's the only one you, you can get them in, and even getting getting in and in and out of that one is a real royal pain in the ass. Um, they're just th their hitboxes on them are way bigger than they are visually, and it's just so frustrating when you see the you know your thylacaleo in the entrance with plenty you know inches of room all the way around it, and it still can't move through it because of its hitbox. I don't know if that's deliberate or if it's a bug that they need to work on. But here's the thing, Wildcard. I know you'll never watch my videos, but I'm going to say this anyways. This is one of the best caving critters in this game. So why in the F have you made it so we can only use it in one cave? It is just supremely frustrating. So there, I'll get off my soapbox. So because of that, we're going to have to use um, Baryonyx in, and we're going to use Sabres and or Wolves in the caves that we can't, unfortunately, get the Thylo in. Now, I heard a rumor that you might be able to get the thylo in the lava cave, but I wasn't able to do it. I couldn't figure out how to how to get it through the door. And and this is that that cave maybe almost more than any other cave would be the best one to use this in, except for the northeast cave, which is fortunately at least the one I can get it into. Now, I know cryopods would solve all that, but I'm trying to play the game the you know, the island without them because, you know, they weren't in the game originally. But when bullshit like that happens, it, it just it almost tempts me to, to, to get, you know, to get cryopods. But we'll see. I, I'm not going to say I'm never going to do it, but I'm still going to try and make it work without it for the time being. Okay, so let's see. What else? I have installed on the server um, the reusable um, Utilities Plus mod is what it's called for two reasons. One... Bolas, grappling hooks, and parachutes are re reusable items in reality. It just does not make sense that you can only use something like that once and then it's consumable. Now, sometimes, of course, it can break or you could lose it, but for the most part, you use a parachute, you're done with it, you fold it up, back it up, you use it again in the future. You use a grappling hook, you twirl it, you climb up it, and then you pull it up, coil it up, and put it on your uh, on your belt and use it again. Um... And same thing with a bola. I mean, who the hell wouldn't reuse a bola, right? It doesn't, unless it breaks, which is, you know, that's possible, but it's not going to happen all the time. So for a common sense reasons, I have installed that mod. There's another reason why I installed that mod. The binoculars. These are the, the tech binoculars uh, in the game. Wildcard has gated these behind defeating the Overseer. That is absolutely ridiculous because the best thing about these binoculars is the breeding information they give you. But you don't get them until the very end of the game when you're done with the island. I mean, assuming you're doing PvE and your goal is to, you know, to beat the boss and move on, which is going to be my goal. It just doesn't make sense that they would make this unavailable to you until you don't need it anymore. 
<laughs> so because of that reason, um, I've, I went ahead and, and got these two. And these are part of the Utilities Plus mod. They come with it. And so I'm just going to start using these because I think Wildcard should have made them available to us at the moment in the game where you are ready to start breeding because that's when you need them. So that's my rationale. I don't know if everybody will agree, but if you don't, too bad. Um, I'm going to do it anyways, just the way it is, and I feel justified doing it. Okay, so, oh, man, so many things to get you guys caught up on. Let's see. I don't think I've really done much else in regards to building anything at this point. Um, I do, except for one little thing here, I have Akatina's making messes all over the place. Um, it's, they're kind of nice messes because there are, um, you know, it's cementing base or Akatina base. And I think I've lost a couple of babies too, because these suckers breed like crazy. And somehow or another, they manage to glitch out of this cage. I don't know. But my plan is to build an upper floor in the barn and then move them into that area because they're just kind of in the way here and they're just making a mess anyways. And sometimes they'll climb, yep, see, climb up the stairs. <laughs> just go all over the place. It's kind of funny, but, uh, oh, we got an, another baby. So you, whoop, I'm stuck. You go over there. Is this, um, a baby that I've already claimed? I don't remember. You need to back up just a little bit because you're right in the way there, pal. Um, am I stuck? There we go. Let's put this away so I don't stab something on accident. Oh, he's dead. Bummer. Okay. Yeah, these things breed like rabbits. They breed like snails. <laughs> so at one point, I probably had a, a, over a half a dozen of them squ squir squelching around. But um, yeah, I need to get them off of here because this is kind of my staging area landing platform. And we'll put them in the barn. But that'll be, of course, an off-camera thing that I'll work on. All right, now we have a two-fold goal today. Our two-fold goal is to go to the South Cave, the Lower South Cave, and get ourselves a dung beetle because I am tired of having to handle poop manually. Well, I'll stop to handle manually a little bit with dung beetle, but not, you know, not, not having to do this. So, and, and then, of course, do the actual cave itself. Now, um, because I was able to get the Thylacaleo into the Northeast Cave um, after a bunch of fucking around <laughs> i'm just gonna say it so frustrated there's just no reason for that you know why don't they just you know let dinos go into caves that visually fit into the cave but anyway i was, I, I told you i'd get off my soapbox about that i'm still a little frosty about it anyway because i man managed to get the thylo in the cave i went ahead and did it but don't worry i'm gonna do it again on camera for you guys as well uh, for any, any of you who may not have seen it or for anybody who just wants to see me do it uh, so we will be doing that cave again, but we're not going to be doing that cave today. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, we're going to take those three sabers. Um, two of them are imprinted. One of them's a wild. So cat women and putty are female imprinted sabers. Uh, they were some of the first offspring. Um, and then Sylvester's just uh, a wild male, high level male, and he's not imprinted, but he's mostly there for the mate boost. I won't be riding on him. So. We're going to take those into the south cave, uh, but I'm also going to set up a, a little um, shed just outside the cave, a place to park dinos, flyers in particular. But also, um, you know, once we do find a dung beetle, we'll tame it and then we'll bring it back out and we'll have to put it in that shed while we go finish the rest of the cave. Um, are you, you need an imprint in 46 minutes, but you're just a yard guard, so I'm, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. What I do care about is getting back in three hours, a little less than three hours, to imprint the berries. So we do need to do that, but we should we should be back by then, hopefully. Um, all right, so um, well, for me, let's get some stuff for me and in terms of, like, you know, soups and all that. I've, I've got 35 medical brews. I think maybe... I'm not anticipating this cave to be too too tough. It's it's supposedly the easiest cave, but that doesn't mean it's it's not dangerous. Um, let's see, crafted foods. Yeah, let's make a few more of these. And uh, we have very high fortitude, so I'm not really too worried about temperature. But it might not be a bad idea to have some enduro stool uh, stew, uh, which gives us melee damage. 
Uh, Lazarus Chowder is good because it just increases your health regen. And uh, Focal Chili, that, that'll make us run faster. In case we do happen to get cold, I guess we could bring some Freya Curry, but I'm not worried about it. Shadow Steak Saute, that will also help us with weather effects and give us better aim. So let's grab that. And I don't really like to take the Battle Tartare because it takes your health away. So I, th I think we'll leave that here. Okay. Um, let's make a little bit more focal chili while we're, while we're uh, doing this here. So we'll track that. We've got, it uh, looks like we got all the berries in there. We just need some citronol and some cooked meat. Okay. Grab some of that and some of that. Okay, we'll whoop up a, a few more of those. 46 medical brews, that hopefully will be enough. And for ammunition, let's uh, let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? That needs to be repaired in here. I've got two of these. I, show, I believe I showed that to you, the montage. I found two primitive, a little bit better than base primitive sniper rifles in a drop. And we might as well just take them both with us because... Uh, that will come in handy inside the cave. We have 169 rounds there. Uh, why don't we make a few... Do I have any more sniper rounds already made up? These uh, rifles and their rounds are incredibly heavy, which doesn't make sense because in real life... I mean, they wouldn't be any heavier than any other rifle or bullet. But look at this. This rifle's 25 pounds versus 15 pounds. What the hell? <laughs> That's not realistic. Especially if this has a poly stock, which I think it does. It should be even lighter than that. But it's one of those artificially imposed things that developers do to us sometimes. Anyway, um, what are we doing? We're, uh, let's make, yeah, let's make a little more ammo. So we want to go to weapons, ammo, and... How many more of these can we make? 100? Yeah, let's make... Well, actually, no, that'll be 200. So let's just make those up. Uh, yeah, we got a snail out here. They're all over the place, man. We're going to have to deal with them. Um, I'm already super heavy. So where's uh, Mojave? Mojave's going to have to carry some stuff. Whoops. You carry that. I don't think we'll... Let's not bring the long neck at all. I don't really need to. And the other thing I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to tame anything. If I find something, I'll, I'll come back for it. Uh, we definitely want to bring Antidote. What was I saying? Oh. Um, I'm going to wear hide armor in there. And the reason for that, if, you, if it's not obvious, is hide armor is very easy to repair on the spot. Um, we could, we could repair our, yeah, I guess we could take our chitin and repair that on, well, no, we can't, because we can't take the bird into the cave, never mind. Okay, yeah, so the nice thing about the hide armor is we can repair it at any time, because we're going to have tons of hide. Uh, we do want to make sure we bring some fiber. Uh, guys, I've got all kinds of stuff, too. I, I didn't show you everything. I've, I've been hitting dozens and dozens of drops. Um, and moving forward for the rest of this series, I probably won't show stuff, drop stuff on camera unless it's really, really good. Like, this was really, really good. So that was definitely worth showing. Um, but, you know, blues, purples, yellows, even. I'm probably not going to show so much of that anymore unless it's, you know, just very noteworthy. So just FYI on that. Okay, so anyway, uh, what are we doing? Uh, we need... We are looking for hide armor. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take our... Yeah, you know what? We got enough of this. Let's just take our good good pieces. If we lose it, not a big deal. So those are our best pants. Um, this is our best chest piece, I think. And then... 62. Yeah, okay. 
So this way we can just repair it on, on the spot, and if we get nailed by an Arthopleura, which we probably will, we can fix it back up again. 49 looks like. The other thing we'll do at the at the little shed I'm planning on making is we'll put a... Uh, I want to bring a bunch of arrows with me, normal arrows. Uh, we'll put a bed down there too. Uh, let's leave that here, but we do want to take some stimulant with us. We don't need to take the kibble. That's nothing there. Are you... I don't know why... what you're doing. I'm not sure why you're on. Okay, so let's grab some more ammunition. So between the arrows and the sniper rifle rounds and also the pistol, we should uh, we should have plenty of ammo. Not that he, I'm not even really planning on using a lot of ammo though. Anyways, we're gonna use the critters uh, for most of the damage. So let's load that up. Okay, looks like our stuff is in good repair. Um, chilies, local chilies. Let's take um, the expensive, spoilable stuff back out of there and put it back in here. Well, relatively speaking. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to jump on Mojave and we're going to take... I'm going to carry one of the cats over with me, build the building, and then probably come back and carry the second cat over. Um, can I pick one of those up in my beak? No, it's not letting me do it. Uh, if you press C, um, the bird can pick up small animals, um, but the saber's probably a little too big for that. Okay, so anyway, long story short, I'll get that shed built. I'll get all the cats over there, and then when we're ready to, to rock and roll, um, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we are here with all three of our cats. So let's get these cats pulled back out. I built this like kind of right at the point where the cave starts to try to load in. So every time I walk in here, there's like a little, little lag there. All right. We're going to put Mojave in here because we can't take her or him, her, him. Are you, you're a guy. Okay. <laughs> into the, into the thing there. Um, all right, so I have, um, I brought a bunch of, of large dookies with me. Let's take, uh, depending upon the level of the beetle, we could probably tame it in one application. But let's take those three and maybe these four. These ones are a little fresher. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, I... I did switch out my, my top end weapons for, uh, slightly lower weapons on the toolbar there. Um, but even, you know, I, I mean, I would not want to lose that pike. Anything else, it's just not that big a deal because I got so much pretty decent stuff overall. Okay. So the name of the game here is to, let's put the feces on you just so I'm not so dang heavy. Um, uh, the name of the game here is to first get a dung beetle. So I'm going to ride Putty because I'm fully imprinted on Putty. I am on Catwoman too, but not on Sylvester. And so we're just going to, you know, get in a ways. Um, if you guys are not familiar with this cave, uh, you don't see the the critters until you're down into it a little ways. But once we start to see the critters, uh, then what we'll do is we'll we'll pull the bats up to us and the Arthoplers and get those killed. And then um, we'll look for, for dung beetles. And for some weird reason, it's like all this really weird green looking color uh, at, at the beginning until you get past this point. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's from those mushrooms or something. And then it just gets back to normal lighting. So that's just a bit odd. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you can't even get a phylo in the, in the very front entrance. Uh, or maybe it's maybe it's this spot I couldn't get it through. I don't know. It was very early on in the cave, and just super frustrating. 
But it is what it is. These cats should do fine. As long as we, you know, as long as we're careful, we don't go bad shit crazy. Uh, bat shit being the key word. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get on down in here. Now, like I said, there's no mobs until we, we get a little ways further down. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, my, my machine has a little bit of trouble with these caves. They're, they're a little bit laggy. Uh, I'll try and, I'll try and keep, you know, the settings, uh, video settings as they are for the moment, but if things get too bad, we might have to tone things down a little bit. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, and I actually want everybody on passive at the moment, too. I really like what they've done with the caves, though. They're just... They're more or less the same cave as before, but they look so much nicer. Okay, I think we get a little further in and then we're going to start seeing creatures spawn. Okay, so this, that kind of goes to the back way, which we'll, we'll maybe hit that later uh, because there's loot crates. But this is kind of the, the main way to, to go here. Okay, we should probably st see some stuff spawn here in just a second. Um, I want to put this on our toolbar as well. Hmm, that's odd. The artifact is off to the left, so there's a little shortcut that you can go. Uh, I came down this far in this cave, by the way. Oh, no, that's a loot crate, actually. But the artifact is off to the left. Uh, and killed just a few creatures just in this front area, and apparently they haven't repopped, which is very odd, because usually cave creatures repop quickly. All right, what do we get? An ascendant equisaddle, useless. An ascendant stone hatchet, useless. <laughs> a smoke grenade. I mean, this is shit. I don't. I don't even know if we'll, that is that is a damn nice blueprint though. But it's just that equus. I know they're useful, but. Yeah, I, I just... It's not really something I've messed around with much, you know? Uh, Alright, well, anyway. If you go off to the left here, uh, and over this cliff, the artifact is just right straight ahead there. It's not very far at all, so this is kind of a shortcut. But we won't. we, we could go down this way, but wouldn't, we wouldn't get the creatures back up. And I would probably go that way if I wasn't trying to get a dung beetle, but we're trying to get a dung beetle, so we're gonna we're gonna go down this way. Once we get the dung beetle, you know, secured, then then we'll just go murder everything, and it won't be a big deal. Okay, so we got a scorpion there. Uh, so again, I don't want to just go in like gangbusters because um, I don't want to kill any dung beetles that might show up. So what we're gonna do? is we're just going to pull mobs to us until we, you know, until we get the dung beetle anyway. One nice thing about sabers is they're one of the best creatures for gathering chitin. Not that I really need chitin, but it's still, still good to know. All right, you got a point. We'll still get some points on these guys too. They're, we're not, they're not fully leveled, so uh, you got five thousand health. Let's just keep pumping your melee for now. Torpidity is dropping. Okay, I've got stimulant with me if we need it too. Okay, there's a spider and there's a dung beetle. Okay, let's kill the spiders first, and then we'll. Is that, is that spider dead or what the hell? Yeah, it must be dead. All right. So I think we're clear here. What level are you? You are 
Here, let's just use this. You're 55. That's not bad. Uh, we don't need a max level for this. Okay, who's got the poop? Who's the pooper? Pooper holder. All right, let's take a large animal feces. Put it in that slot. I got it 74%. Okay. Um, so we'll just... I'll have to wait uh, for one more. I don't know how long. I don't think it takes a, a really long time. But I'll tell you what. Let's just leave that guy there and we'll come back from here in a few minutes. And... Okay, so that goes down into... Just trying to remember how this cave works. Hmm. I thought that pool was a lot deeper than that, unless they changed it. Or maybe that's a different pool, I don't know. Let's go ahead and push forward. Everybody stay passive, don't hit the beetle. We'll come back and check the beetle in a minute or two. And we might as well keep clearing, clearing mobs out of here. It's familiar, but it's not, you know? <laughs> I... I never came this far down into this cave either, by the way. Uh, I just went to that first spot up there. All right. Let's get your attention. Can I shoot from the back of these guys? Oh, I can. Look at that. Nice. Look at those spiders. All right, it's on. I see an Artho down there. We have to really be careful of him. A couple of snakes. Well, shoot, we got a beetle involved, but that's a... Oh, shit, that's a 130. Damn it. That'd be a good one. I don't think we can... Uh, I don't know if we can avoid it now. Here, everybody go passive. Come back up here. I wouldn't mind having that 130 beetle chillax I don't know what it would take <coughs> excuse me zoom tight uh, to do that okay he just he just deagro perfect okay we're, we're probably gonna go after him too because why not right but let's finish this one uh, who's got the poop again uh, you you're the poop holder here let's grab this one that's about to expire all right, you ready for a feeding again? Nice. Okay, um, we're just going to call you Poop Guy. <laughs> oh, shit. That beetle is still pissed off. All right, you know what? Um, it's all right. Oh, that's only a 55 beetle. Oh, the, <laughs> the other beetle's going after him. Okay, let's do this. Everybody come up here. Or right over here anyway. I'm going to go down there on foot. Uh, let's give you melee. Let's check health too, by the way. Yeah, you guys are you guys are in pretty good shape. Uh, I want to get your health up. You're already at 5,000, so let's keep working on your melee. All right, let's grab um, a dookie. A couple dookies. And everybody stay here. Where's... Uh, yeah. Follow the putty. Stay passive. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's see if we can 
get this 130 dung beetle. Because it did look like it de aggroed. Uh, I don't know where it went, though. It's a thing. I don't want to get too much further away from this this spot. Hmm. I saw it turn around and take off. Unless that was that 55 beetle. Maybe we... Uh, shoot. You know what? Maybe we killed the 130. Okay, there's a scorpion over there and more spiders. Yeah, we 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 may have ended up killing that 130. I I couldn't tell. Okay, well that's all right. Uh, even the 55 we got is gonna be good though. Uh oh shit, scorpions, run away! Where the hell am I going? This way. Okay, you guys coming all the way up here? Everybody stay here except for you. Oh. Uh, are they leaving? Okay, they're, they're leaving. All right. I don't want to get poop guy killed is the thing. So what we're going to do... Yeah, he's going back. Okay. So you stay passive. You... Go neutral. And you go neutral. And I'm going to carry a poop guy back out to the... Look at all the dukes he's already picking up. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to carry him back out to the shed. So I'll, I'll meet you guys back here. All right. We made it back without incident. Poop guy's safe and sound with... Um, Mojave up in the thing, and it's time for us to move on down into the cave. I'm not going to deliberately try and get another dung beetle, but if we do come across a high level one and the opportunity presents itself, uh, we will see if we can nab it too. We have 594 chitin. It's a beautiful thing. Um, all right. Let's continue on here. This was where I kind of went over to take a look, see, and a scorpion came after us. That one right there. Another pathway up that direction. Oh, where the hell did you come from? So let's fill that up while we're here. See, I thought this used to be like a really deep pool, but it's not that deep. There's like piranhas and stuff. Catwoman, where, where the hell did you go? Uh. Did 
did she get out and just go back around? Oh, she did. Okay, good. Yeah, see, this uh, uh, maybe this is a different pool than I'm thinking, but there's a Sarko over there. I just remember there being like two maybe really deep pools in this cave with loot crates at the bottom, but I'm talking like, you know, 40, 50 feet deep. And this pool is definitely not deep like that. Hmm. What level is this guy? Level 50 Sarko. That's not that high. All right. That's why berries are good for, for caves with water like this. But unfortunately, it didn't work out for us to have a berry in time for this episode. That was the plan originally until that Therizina decided to change plans on us. Um, I guess we can fairly easily get out here. We're going to have to contend with the piranhas too, but I, I want to see what's in here. careful that the cat, well, my cat anyway, doesn't run out of stamina while I'm on it. Pony, why aren't you attacking that thing? Cat has full stamina. Nobody seems to be seriously damaged, so let's just see if there is indeed a loot crate in here. Because this is definitely different than the, the old survival evolved pools. Get um, over here where we can stand a little bit. These critters don't seem to be super high level, which is interesting. Uh, let's give you some more melee. Get your stamina all the way back and go back inside here for a second and look around real quick. Yeah, I don't see a loot crate in here. That doesn't mean one wouldn't spawn at some other time, but it doesn't appear to be one right now. There's crystal and metal and obsidian. Okay, let's hop out and continue on. Guess I'm not high enough to get that fish meat. Let's do a quick health check on everybody. Ah, you're good. And you're pretty good, too. Okay, let's go. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, man. The stuckness in this game so pisses me off. Stuckness, is that even a word? I don't know. It is now. Okay, more friends coming. So, 
that way goes to the artifact, and this way also goes to the artifact. And this is the that ledge that we were on earlier, where we were looking down. So let's kill the mobs in here. We got another level. Which we will put into melee. There we go. Oh, shoot. You know what? Darn it. I was going to bring my otter down here so we get a couple of artifacts, but that's all right. This will not be the last time we run this cave. Okay. So let's, um. I don't think we can get the cats through here, so we're going to have to pull the mobs out, and then I have to go in on foot to get the artifact. They might be able to get in through the other side, though. I'm not sure. We could try it. Get that snake. Can the snake not... I guess the snake can't get through or something. Spiders can. Mm, there's a dung beetle in there. Let's not kill him. Alright, just for my own education. Let's go around the other way and see if we can actually get the cats all the way into that chamber. Uh, let's see. We got to go this way, I think. Yeah. See, you wouldn't be able to fit. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we can jump them through. There's another dung beetle. You know what, though? You guys stay put. I don't want to risk messing you up. Oh, you're level 20. No, sorry. Your food. Got a snake here. This is the artifact room with a dung beetle. And that, yeah, that's the one we saw through there. What level is he? 45. Nah. Honestly, from what I understand about the dung beetles, we only need one anyways. One's, one will be plenty for everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Artifact of the Hunter. Nice. Woohoo! Okay. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's it for, well, at least getting, <clears throat> excuse me, the artifact in this cave. But there's another section that we're going to go explore. Um, because there could, we could have a loot crate. Follow me, and then... Wait, am I hitting the wrong thing here? No, I want you to go over there. Let's try this again. Can I just jump over, you guys? Follow me. Go over there. That's weird. They unfollow me when I when I tell them to do that. And All right. Let's move you here. Can you guys just come now on your own? Come on. Quit trying to do your stupid AI pathing, which doesn't work worth a shit, and just follow me. Oh, shit. There's a spider right there. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay. There you go. Okay. 
Now, um, there's a, another pool here. What? Are you... That must be hitting... Wait, are you... Are you guys dead? Oh, this is the same pool we were at earlier. Right. Okay, never mind. So, in the old map, this was a really deep pool, and then when you got over there, you could get back to the other section. So, let's let's go back over there again and see if that is still the case, even though the pool itself has changed. Sylvester... Uh, he's, I guess he's just a little bit out of whistle range. Or no, he's stuck. Of course, stuck simulator. There we go. You guys thought I was kidding when I said this is Ark Survival Stuck Simulator. No sir Bob, I am not joking. <laughs> he says as he gets stuck. Okay, are you both with me? Yes, you are. Okay, let's go. So yeah, you used to be able to get over to the other, the back part of the cave uh, on the left-hand side. And maybe we still can. I wasn't really paying attention. It looks like maybe we can. Yeah, okay, good. And then there should be another pool that, again, used to be really deep and have uh, loot crates in it. We also have an explorer note. Let's let's go ahead and check it out. It is difficult to be angry with Himentaria Ledus, despite its rather terrible nature. The creature has practically no intelligence and just attaches to any nearby living flesh in an attempt to drain that creature's blood. Removing Himentaria requires precision blade work or access to an open flame. Both of these can be nearly as dangerous to the host as to the leech itself. Once Himentaria attaches to a host, it drains blood at a rapid pace, and the host experiences hunger, loss of health, and lowered stamina. Some Himentaria are also carriers for a dangerous disease I've dubbed Swamp Fever, which persists beyond the leech's own lifespan. Few creatures on the island are transmitters for this disease, and it can ultimately be cured with a rare medicine. While Himentaria is not intelligent enough to be tamed, it is always useful to keep a few around for antidotes and fishing lures. When processed properly, Hementaria venom can be made into a powerful anti-venom. Okay, our beloved leeches, yes. I hate those things. <laughs> okay, we got a level here. Let's uh, put that into melee. Yeah, these cats are having no trouble at all in this cave. It's pretty... Pretty easy peasy for them. And, you know, maybe we'll just use the cats in here all the time when we run it because I wanted to use a berry for the pools, but the pools are like a joke. There's just not much to them. We'll see how this one is, though. Look at all the Arthos. Yeah, we lost some armor. It's all right. We can fix it. Uh, oh, 140 dung beetle. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, everybody chill. A 140 dung beetle. That's that's even better than the other one we saw. <laughs> we lost all of our armor. Of course we did. Okay, um, I think that's... It, there's some enemies way over there, but they shouldn't aggro on us at the moment. Okay, we got fine. Uh, we're going to need more fiber than that. Let's get this. I just brought a cheap scythe along with me because because there is vegetation in here. But uh, is there anything back over this way? Yeah, there's some monsters over there, too. Oh, here they come. 
I should have, um... I guess I should have just brought some fiber with me, because I, but I knew there was plants in here. It's just that the plants are kind of where we need to go right at the moment. Okay, well... Uh, give me this hide. Can we repair at least this? Nope. We need way more fiber. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's do... Uh... What are you? You are a... 95. Wow, both of you are pretty good, but I want the 140. We're gonna tame this 140. Let's use the Duke that's closest. Okay, so it'll take two more large feces to tame this guy. I mean, okay, how much poop do we have? You've got four more. And we got one in here, too. I mean, we might as well tame both of them. Why not? I, I don't think we need to, but... We'll do it anyway. Yeah, he's going to take three. Unless unless one of you guys drop a medium poop, then we can use that for the third one on the other guy. All right, I'm going to just wait, guys, until these beetles are tamed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave them here and we'll clear the rest of the cave. And then I'll come back and get them at the end and just have them follow me out. I'm not going to try and carry them out from here because we're... A little further in and we haven't you know killed all the mobs yet either what I might do though is I might run back um, and see if I can find some some plants I don't really want to go up there because there's monsters nearby so I will bring you guys back when these beetles are tamed and we're ready to proceed all right um, we got both of them. This is Big Poop Guy. And, um, let's put you on passive. And we'll have you wait over by Poop Guy 2. If you can get around. There you go. And this is, this is actually way more, more than we need. We could have been fine with just one, but they were here, so why not, right? Let's just stick you. All right, so I'm going to have these guys just chillax here while we finish clearing out the rest of the cave. And then we'll, like I said, at the very end, we'll come back and get them. I, I did uh, get some fiber, too, for the um, to repair my armor, so we're good to go there. Okay, let's go up this way. We might need to actually go. We're going to have to go back down and get those guys. But yeah, let's let's clear out this tunnel first. Oh, there's a drop. Nice. Another beetle. It's a, oh, it's a 145. My goodness. Well, it's pissed now. <laughs> Sorry, we don't need it. I don't know how to get it to de-aggro on us, so. Nice. Okay, let's check this out. Here. Don't be going anywhere. Oh, for pizza. Well, I mean, that's a nice torch, actually. But still, I mean, seriously? <laughs> Damn it, Jim. All right. 
You got another level. Oh, wow. You got five levels. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just keep pumping melee. But obviously, like I said, these cats can handle this cave no problem. Uh, what I might end up doing is keep, well, I, 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 w I thought about maybe keeping them at the shed. Actually, you know what? I probably will because we'll just breed some more cats for the central cave. And maybe even... Mm, yeah, I don't know about the lava cave. We'll see. Uh, we definitely want to take the baryonyx into the... Oh, shit. There's another one. Oh, here comes monsters. Ah, that's a lot of monsters. Uh, we, we definitely want to take the baryonyx in the upper central cave, because that there's a lot of water in that one. Of course, there is a sh Oh my god, look at all these monsters. Uh, okay. Holy shit. They're not really doing a whole lot of damage, at least not to my cat, anyway. That was a lot of mobs all at once. Goodness gracious. Whew. Wow. Damn, son. All right, let's see if we can get an Ascendant Stone pick this time, because that's what we really want. What's that? A packy... Uh, oh, Jesus. Really? Who the hell wants one of those? Okay, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> um. Okay, wow, that... Uh, that was a lot of mobs all at once. I was a little concerned there, but we're actually in pretty good shape overall, you know? Uh, what does your guys' health look like? Not really that bad, all, all things considered. Goodness. These cats are just badass in this cave. All right. Um, this just... There's another dung beetle there. Do we have... We might have some mobs stuck in the wall. So this will just go back up to that fork that we saw earlier. I just want to make sure we've cleared uh, all the monsters. Yeah, okay. So we were here already. And this is the... I, I said earlier, if you remember, this is the back way. Wow. Okay. So I think we've pretty much cleared the cave uh, from mobs. What level are you? Just... For the hell of it. You're 55. Okay. Can I get on you, please? You're level... 50. Now, I think we can go back down where we were through this path. And we'll have a few more mobs to fight. And then we'll check out this pool. Yeah, see, there's our... There's our beetles over there. Hmm. See, once again, this... If I remember right, this used to be a, a really deep pool. But they, they've definitely changed that. Okay, yeah, well, it's definitely not a deep pool now. I'll kill these piranhas. Why aren't my guys attacking? They should be on neutral. I'm actually going to take this fish back home because we need it for our baryonyx. Oh, that's crystal. Okay. Uh, let's grab this bag because it's going to have Titan Boa Venom in it, which we're going to need for boss fights. Two of them. Um, I guess we'll grab the arrows too. Why not? All right, guys. That is it for the Lower South Cave. We are coming out of here with three dung beetles. 
One of them uh, pretty high level. Well, actually, two of them pretty decent level. Um, what's going on over here? Yeah, it's, it's interesting to me that they changed the pools so they're no longer deep, which means there's really no reason to bring a baryonyx down here. We can just use the cats all the time. And I think I will do that too, guys. I think I'm going to leave these cats here. They've got a trough, so they'll be fine, you know, food-wise. And we'll just always use them to run this cave, because I'll run it a few more times. Uh, you know, both to get the artifact multiple times, but also to, uh, you know, for the loot. Even though the loot wasn't particularly spectacular. <laughs> but it is what it is, I suppose. All right, so I'm going to have these beetles follow me out of here, and then I'm going to have to transport them back um, on the bird back to the base. And so the plan for the next episode is going to be that we will, um, uh, probably do the central cave next. That would be the next cave to do in terms of difficulty, I believe. Uh, but let's get, where's, uh, where's big poop guy? Yeah, let's get big poop guy. We're going to make ourselves a, uh, a nice little screenshot for this video. Okay, set him down. Everybody stop following. We'll get the we'll get those kind of that lighted area in the backdrop. And we'll line up the cats here. These cats did exceptionally well in this cave. I mean I, I didn't I wasn't worried that they wouldn't be able to do a good job, but they did better than I expect it so very proud of them for their work you guys did good work today guys and gals you got a couple levels uh you're sylvester so you you're just here for the mate boost mostly, but you did a good job too today, buddy. So we want to get your health up. Why am I so damn heavy? Um, wait. Oh, because of all the poop I'm carrying. Okay, we're done taming beetles, so, well, that's not the only thing, but it's contributing. The packy saddle's like super heavy too. How's your weight? Yeah, let's give you this. I'll clean all the crap off of those guys later. All right, let's put, we're not going to have original poop guy in the, in the picture, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay, you stay there. I'll grab big poop guy. Okay, come a little closer. That's pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of the HUD, get into K mode. That makes for a pretty nice screenshot, I think. Okay, and we, wait, here, let's, uh, let's move over just a little bit so we can see both of the cats if they would quit trying to eat. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode where the plan will be to run the Central Cave. See ya.